Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my backpack for my sophomore year of high school. You guys have really been enjoying my school supplies haul this year and even my one from last year. And a lot of you guys were requesting me to do a what's in my backpack. So that is what I'll be doing in today's video. If you haven't seen my school supplies haul for this year, I'll put it up here in the iCard if you want to go check it out. That is where I show you guys in depth each school supplies thing that I bought and also the links to them in the description. But in this video, I will put the links to like my backpack water bottle and stuff like that in the description not the individual school supplies so if you want to see those go to the school supplies haul but without further ado let's just get started so I'm going into my sophomore year of high school and I've definitely learned a lot I feel like on what I need to bring on a daily basis and what I don't really need I put everything in this bag so it's a little heavy but this is my backpack I'll be using for school this year it's the same one that I used last year this is the Herschel backpack I forgot what it's like called I'll I'll link it in the description. I got it in the pink mauve color last year, but this is what it looks like. Like I said, I used it last year, so it is a little bit dirty, but honestly, it still works great, so I'm gonna use it again. I like this backpack because it's simple and still holds everything. By the way, this video is not sponsored. All of these opinions are my own, but like I was saying, I really like this backpack, and hopefully it'll last me another year, but before we get into the backpack, let me just show you what water bottle I'm using. I love hydro flasks. I use them a lot. This is the one that I use for school. It is the white 32 ounce wide mouth hydro flask. I definitely need to work on drinking more water, especially during the school day, but having this big of a bottle is very helpful. Mine is definitely scuffed up, dented, and not in the best condition, but it still works. It keeps my water nice and cold. I like the straw lids way better than the other ones where you just like drink out of the bottle. And I recently bought their newer straw lid where it has a handle as well as the straw on top. I really like this lid because I can carry it with the handle and it still does have a straw and I I don't know if it's just me, but with the water in this straw, I feel like it just flows better. I really like it and I would definitely recommend getting one of these. And then for my lunchbox, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. Usually I just find one that I've used before and use that. I might use one of those like Lululemon bags that you get for free when you purchase something, or I might use my Vera Bradley one or like brown paper bags. I don't know. It honestly just depends. So I don't know what I'm gonna be using yet, but something along those lines. But now let's get into the backpack. So I think I'm gonna start with the two side pockets. Pockets. These I believe are meant for water bottles personally for me mine does not fit So I don't usually keep water in there, but I do put stuff in it This is a little hard to hold up, but on this side I have three extra mechanical pencils These are like the cheap ones I wouldn't be worried to lose these and they're also for if anyone needs them or if I just need to quickly pull out a pencil I have those I also have a pair of phone earbuds I always carry my earpods with me But if for some reason they're dead or I forget them I like to keep the corded ones in here as well then I have like three pads of post-its in here. The first one is this bigger pad in this like purple pink kind of color. Last year I kind of realized that post-its come in handy a lot and sometimes teachers do have them for you but it's always nice to just have some in your bag so I do like to keep some. So I have this bigger one and then I have these two smaller ones. My sister actually bought a pack of these and then was so kind enough to give me these two. I like to use the smaller post-it notes for like just random things to jot down or for bookmarks as well so I just have these in pink and yellow. Now moving on to this pocket. This pocket really doesn't have much. All I put in here for now was just this pack of gum. I talked about this in another video where I bought this. Personally for me, I like the idea of gum, like just being able to chew something and it kind of helps me not be bored, I feel like. But at the same time, a lot of gum gives me headaches, like basically every flavor. The only ones that I found that I like and don't give me headaches are these ice breakers, ice cubes. And the one I like the best is like mango something. I don't remember the other fruit, but they are so good and I can never find them in Target. So these are my second favorite. They're the strawberry lemonade flavor. They're still minty enough to make your breath smell good, but they also kind of taste like candy. And I also like the container because it's refillable and you can also get one out or a lot. So I'm going to keep these in my bag. Normally I would put gum in like the front small pocket of my backpack, but this is kind of big. So I just decided to stick it in the side pocket. But now let's move on to the front miniature pocket. In here I have a lot right now. I probably won't keep all of this like every day of the school year, but in these Herschel backpacks, there's not a lot of like organizational little pockets in this front one like other backpacks have but honestly I don't mind because usually I just shove things in this pocket anyway so the first thing that I keep in 
there are my AirPods. I realized this last year for my first year of high school. AirPods are like a necessity because sometimes when you're walking around campus in the morning or literally any time of the day and you don't really want to talk to people, put these in, put on your music and it'll be totally okay. Also having these for class for listening to music if your teacher lets you is also very helpful. Next up I have my calculator. Last year I used a scientific one which is like the basic calculator I think but this year since I'm taking honors algebra 2 trig we're gonna need a graphing calculator. So I got this one. It's the TI-84 plus CE calculator. I got it at Target. This is big and when you turn it on it literally has like a screen. Like I've never used one of these before so we'll have to figure out how to use it but I always like to keep the calculator in that pocket because I can use it anytime I need it and even though I don't have math every day I know for a fact I would forget to put it in my bag so I just keep that in there. Next up I have my wallet. This wallet is from Urban Outfitters. I got it for my birthday. I feel like this is one of my essentials for school especially just to keep in my bag because it has my ID, my card, cash, gift card, stuff like that. So it's very helpful for if I need a snack from the vending machines, if I need my ID, or if I'm leaving early that day and I get like a little early out pass. At our school, the early out passes are literally like receipts. So I always put it in here so I don't lose it. These next two things I honestly like don't know where to put. First up, I have a pack of color pencils and yes, I ripped off this top thing. It just makes them easier to transport. You never know when these are gonna be handy at school. Obviously, I don't think I'll need them for like the first week of school, but I would like to keep them in my bag. I just don't know where because I feel like they would take too much space in the main pocket, but they also take a lot of space in the other pocket. So I don't know where I'm going to keep these, but I do have them. And then I also have scissors. Scissors are so helpful for literally every day. Like you might have a string on your clothes, something you need to cut. Like you never know when you're going to need these at school. And so I was thinking I would put them in my little emergency kit that I have in my bag, but they don't really fit. And also I feel like they would fit in my pencil case, but then I thought about it and I was like, what if I'm digging in my pencil case and I just like stab myself, which these aren't even that sharp because they're kid scissors, but still, I don't know where exactly I'm gonna keep these either. But now moving on to my emergency kit, I bring this pouch everywhere I go. It's always in my school bag. When I go out and do stuff with friends, I always put it in my tote bag or whatever I'm using. And it literally has like any essential you might need. For the beginning of the year, I might take some things out. So I have a mini deodorant, which if I'm taking like a PE course, usually I'll just put it in the PE locker because that's really the only time I need it, but I have that. Extra hair ties, hand sanitizer, a miniature pack of tissues, then I have this little pack of oil absorbing sheets, this mini aquaphor, and then just feminine products. We have pads, tampons, liners. Not only do I like to have some for myself, but it is helpful to have for other people as well. And now we get to move on to the main pocket. So right now, this is what the inside of it looks like. Obviously, I don't think I would be bringing this every single day, but I just put all of my stuff in here just for storage, so I'll kind of explain what I carry on an everyday basis. First up, we have my pencil case. Obviously, I would keep this in my bag every day. I really like this pencil case because it's like cute and also can store a lot in here. I have pens, a miniature glue stick, the Zebra Mild Liner Highlighters, Whiteout, Extra Lead, a nice mechanical pencil, a miniature eraser, and then the cheaper mechanical pencils. Next up, we have my planner. I will be keeping this in my bag every day because obviously, I'll probably be needing it every day. I love these five-star ones because they're meant for the school year and they just work really well but this is mine it's super cute I got it from Target you can put all your information stuff in here and then there's separate spots for all the days and weeks and stuff last year I bought the same planner but it was like a gray color I'm pretty sure I probably used it for like one week in the year which is probably like the first week and then stopped using it this year I am taking my first AP class ever and also more honors classes so I have a feeling it's gonna be helpful to have this and I'm gonna kind of force myself to use this also I got this little pack of stickers from Stationery Pal and I put one on the inside of the cover. I just thought it was super cute and I'll show you guys in a second. I put them on like all my supplies. Next up, we have my notebooks. No, I will not be bringing all four notebooks to school every day. Like I've mentioned a few times on my channel, my school has an interesting schedule. Like Monday, we have all of our periods and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have our even periods. Wednesdays and Fridays, we have odd periods. So in total, you have each class three times a week. So I won't need these like every single day and usually Mondays we don't need like all of our stuff because it's a shorter day but these are the notebooks I have I don't really have specific ones to a certain class yet this one is for math though because it is a graph notebook on the first day of school I usually only bring one notebook and then if there's a class where we actually like start taking notes that'll just be assigned to that class but what I did to all of my notebooks is I took those cute little stickers and I just put one underneath so here's the one that I put on this notebook here's the one that I put on this one I put this like little bunny kind of one on 
this blue notebook. And then lastly, I put this one on the purple notebook. I honestly don't know what that is. But yeah, I just put those little stickers there. I felt like they were cute. And then moving on to my binders. I have one binder for each of the block days. So one will be for even periods, one will be for odd. I did also put stickers on these. I just put three little flowers on each of the little like sides. I don't know which binder will be for which day yet. On the first day, I honestly probably won't bring any binder because I won't be having that many like papers and stuff. But in each binder, I did kind of like set it up so it's ready. In here, I just have a few sheets of loose leaf paper, a pack of dividers, and then these are like the labels for dividers. So whenever I actually start needing to use them, I have them here. On the first day of school, I will be bringing this folder. I keep a folder in my backpack for every day of the year. I just kind of treat this as like a dump folder. If I ever have papers that I just need to put somewhere, I'll put it in here. This does also have a front pocket, so usually I kind of just shove random things in here and at the end of the year, it's just like memories in here. But in here, I do keep loose leaf paper and then this side is open to put anything in there. And then lastly, in my backpack, there is this little pocket back here, which I assume is for a laptop because it is padded. But personally for me, I am not the most gentle with my backpack at school. Like when I sit down, I kind of just swing my backpack onto the floor. So I noticed that with my other MacBook, it started getting a little bit, not dented, but kind of just scratched a little bit on the sides that were like hitting the floor down here. So I decided to put in my little laptop sleeve that I have. I use this for traveling. It's like padded all around and I just leave it to where the zipper is open just for this top slot so I can just slide my MacBook in and out and that's where I keep it. Super simple and easy to keep it in there and that is literally all I have for what's in my backpack. Like I said, I'm not going to be keeping every single one of these items in my bag every day. It'll just kind of depend on the day and also I have like textbooks and stuff which usually we don't have to bring to school because there's online versions but you never know sometimes teachers make you bring them if you guys want to see more of my back to school content whether that be from this year or previous years i put all of those videos in a playlist and i'll put that playlist up here in the i card for any of you that want to check it out i love making back to school content although i'm not the most excited to start school that's for sure but i am excited to make the content for you guys so thank you guys so much for your support if you enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I currently post every Monday and Thursday at 7 a.m. PST. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!